Hello unicorn enthusiasts, as you may well be able to tell because of my voice, I have a really bad cold right now. I had some serious issues singing on worship team this morning. I sounded like a 12 year old boy going through puberty. It was really bad. This week we will be doing story time! So what's going to happen is I'm going to start the story and then I'm going to leave it with a cliffhanger ending and then Jasmine is going to uh, continue the story and then leave the ending for Chelsea to finish and then Chelsea will finish the story for us so we will have a three-part storybook thing and it'll be cool Gary a small brown disheveled yet very lovable teddy bear sat on his appointed shelf in Mr. Brown's country toy store Gary being a very old bear was not well in repair his fur was dirty and matted white stuffing peeked out from under his right arm where there was a rather large rip his trousers, once a unified Levi blue, were now covered in a rainbow of patches. Gary's once soft black felt no nose had been worn down to reveal the pink plastic underneath. His small bump of a tail reminded him much of Eeyore's, for he was constantly losing it. Years ago it, it had come detached when two boys had fought over him. The only thing now holding it to his behind was a small safety pin that liked to come unpinned at the most inopportune moments. However, Gary didn't mind his scruffy appearance, for each imperfection held within it a dear memory. Although Gary's life had not been easy, it had been a good one. He had been passed down from father to son for four generations. Gary had done his best to love, care for, and play with each boy until he grew up and then patiently waited to be handed down to the next child. Unfortunately, the last boy to be Gary had been gifted to had never married and hence never had children. Gary grew old with the boy, and when he finally died, Gary was sent to a thrift store with all of the boy's other belongings. Upon first arriving at the thrift store, Gary was excited to start a new chapter in his life. Surely he would quickly be adopted into a new family where he could once again bring joy into the heart of a child. Gary waited patiently for a boy or girl to come in and choose him to be their new toy. Each time a child came into the store, he made sure to sit up straight and perk his ears up so that he would look his best. Yet none seemed to want a cuddly old bear. The boys always wanted trucks or Legos, and the girls went straight for the dolls. Even the store's manager, Mr. Harriet, who always had a kind word to say to him before opening each morning, eventually forgot Gary. He began to despair and believe that there would, he would never be adopted into a new family. Finally, after a year in the thrift store, a kind-looking old man came in. Gary didn't take much notice, for what would he want with a tired old teddy bear? The old man rummaged around for a while and picked up a few items, and on his way back to the checkout passed through the toy aisle. Gary decided that he should at least look presentable. Maybe this old man had a grandchild in need of a teddy bear. So he perked up his ears and brought a bit of a twinkle to his eye, all the while believing that it would be of no use. This man, like all the others, would walk right past him without even noticing him. However, the old man looked directly at Gary, picked him up, and walked directly to the checkout. Gary could hardly believe his luck. After nearly a year of waiting, he was finally to be adopted. As Gary was carried out of the old man's car in a large plastic bag, he began dreaming of his new family. He was sure that he would be a gift for this man's grandson. Soon the car pulled to a stop at a small building. This was it, thought Gary, the moment he had been waiting for. However, as the old man picked up Gary's bag and began walking him to the building, he noticed a sign hanging above the door. It read, 